He last hit. Good job. Nice one, boy. Good kill. Oh, that was faster than Navel Raid. Interesting. Oh my god. <gasps> I got the purple! Yes! No way. Yes! yes! Oh my god. <gasps> Boys, are we ready? We got a purple loot. Let's get the drum roll. Yes. Right. Shh. Are we ready? Uh, oh boy, that is loud. So, today we'll be listening to loud music and checking the Theater of Blood changes. Where is my team? I organized this before the update. Uh, let's just kill this this blob. So, in the maiden room, nothing was actually changed at all. Um, she's exactly the same as she was before the update. Uh, but don't worry, every other wait, every other room? Uh, no, three of the rooms have been changed, being the bloat, the, the, the dark beast man, and the final boss. Those have been changed slightly, but the rest of them haven't been touched. Let me just get this uh, blob under control. So yes, we're gonna see these changes and the one that I'm most uh, most excited about is they've removed the first 21 waves or something of the spider room Which is uh, which is pretty good means it's gonna take like a significantly less amount of time to complete that room I forgot which ones are mine. I think these ones are mine. I'll take these ones. Don't tell them I forgot myself Amulet. So the change with the blow is let me see here when a hand falls on the floor The shadow grows bigger as it gets closer to the ground and it also takes longer to hit the ground so That's the only change with the blow so it's easier to avoid the falling hand which is what would kill you usually I'm, I'm ready. Who wants to go in? Good, uh, good job. Good job, Mr. Happy Dream. So usually you would die and bloat when you would accidentally get hit by a hand, but so yeah, these hands have been made easier to avoid now. So uh, hopefully it's a tad easier. We'll see though. We'll see. I'm probably definitely gonna die. Initially I didn't really notice anything with the hands. Do they actually take longer to the small? It's, it's uh, I guess slight. a little bit slower. They're like a tick slower, maybe. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's a pretty good improvement. Hey, hey! Those are some really good claw specs. This is a really good bloat. So that's the first change. So the hands are like easier to um to avoid, but personally with me, I just um sort of don't pay attention to the hands. Now here's the next pretty cool change. So now rather than be giving uh being being given a random amount of supplies in the chest, you actually get rewarded points. So if I look at my game filter, uh, where is it? Uh it's to see how many points you've they've granted you. So Let's have a look. So I have I have 11 points. That means I did pretty good. And now you can buy supplies that you actually need. So I'm just going to buy brews. And I can buy another brew. So I'll drop a brew so someone else can have that if they want. Buy more brew. Uh, buy, buy more brew. Okay, and then, yeah. And then, so now you can actually buy uh, like re resources that you actually need. Rather than being given like three stamina's, two prayer pots, three restores, and a shark. So you can buy brews if you need brews. Which is particularly good for Iron Men. Not as amazing for mains. But uh, yes, it's still pretty good. And we, we, uh, we're loaded on food. Let's, let's move on. Um, range. Pretty please. Oh, okay, this one is gonna be interesting. So the first 21 waves which are moved mean it's gonna be high pace from the get-go. So usually you'd have, like, loads of little ones coming at you first, and no big ones would turn up until after the 21 waves, I believe. So it's jumping straight to the, uh, the big waves with all the big sporters. Oh no, there's a range one I didn't kill. Here's some, some good changes. Toxa Toxables, I think the name is. Toxables. So let's see how long this room usually takes. I mean, how long this room is gonna take now. Because this room usually takes six minutes, I think, or something around that. When I initially read the changes to this room, it should make this room harder because they reduce the pillar health as, as well as skipping the first 21 waves. But in those first 21 waves, you, your pillars never really took any damage anyway. So so there's one pillar. Oh no, that was actually pretty good. I thought the wave wasn't done yet, but now we're done. Okay, but now they've added 500 health to the big bad boss, so he's gonna be harder to kill. Where is he? Why is he not spawning? Oh, there he is. So now as well, if you messed up and used the wrong style against him, he would reflect damage on you, only 50% of the damage um, that you dealt to him. But they've changed that now to uh, 100% so he gets healed 100% of the damage you dealt to him and it reflects 100 of it back to you as well so that's pretty awful if you mess up it's really punishing and they made it so he just genuinely hits harder in general just hit just hits harder uh, 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 I didn't eat I thought I was gonna get one hit that would have been unfortunate so that used to be a six minute room and that took us five minutes that time so it's a little bit faster okay so the changes to this boss is the balls he sends me sends you it's usually the big problem was that he uh, is if two if a mage and a range ball hit you at the same time you couldn't like you couldn't do anything about it but now if uh, if you get hit by two balls in the same tick only one of them will damage you, so you can't get stacked out for a mad amount of damage. So that if one of those, I just got hit by two range balls, if one of them was mage and one of them was range, I would have only got hit by one of them, rather than getting slapped for like two 40s. Also this ball travels more at more consistent speed. 
So whether you're really close or really far away, it will take the same amount of time to get to whoever it's targeting, which is uh, very nice indeed because, yeah, it's more consistent. Constipating for this path. Oh no, <gasps> I thought I messed up. So yeah, that's the only change with this guy. This ball travels at more consistent speed. Oh goodness, there's a range going to someone. Sorry, it wasn't me. Yeah, you can't get combat out so easy. Oh, oh, there's so many balls. I'm not used to being surrounded with so many balls. Ah, oh, dude. Hey, dude, you want to know something? I uh, used no food that whole kill. <laughs> Oh, your points carry over. Oh, dude. Okay. So with that chest, I wasted points by buying an extra brew, thinking that the points wouldn't carry over, but the points do actually carry over. So now I have tons of points. Um, hmm. Team, does anyone need brews? I uh, there. Ha have two brews. I'll buy some more. <laughs> Hold on. Just, just, just. We're about to go into the fourth room, and just look, look at me. I'm full of brews, full of. Re this is ridiculous. This chest is well good. No more onion. Oh yeah, you're not gonna get onion anymore now. With the Zarpus, nothing has been changed with the Zarpus. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. The amount of points you get depends on how good you did in the boss room so I think it's like say if you do an above average performance which I'm guessing is you don't die and do a lot of damage then you get between 10 and 13 points if you do an average performance you get between 8 and 11 points if you do a poor performance where you probably just like die you get between 6 and 9 points I think if you do poorly you should probably get like very little amount of points not between 6 and 9 because that's like two brews but yeah so I've done good in all of the rooms so I've been given a lot of points and uh, yeah but yes with the Zarpos nothing has been changed I saw that hammer slap, someone didn't spec, I saw it. It's going to be flawless. Oh goodness, this is getting messy. Oh, this is getting real messy. Let me run on over here. Oh my goodness, I'm invading everyone's corner. He really needs to start screeching. Finally. Oh, ah, PG messed up. Got him. Zarp is still as easy as can be. I, I'm, I'm full of food, but I don't need this many brews. I'm bad and I don't need this many brews, so I can uh, bring Dorm Ring if you want. Look at all these supplies. All right, let's start spreading out these brews. Now with Verzik, let me read out her changes real quick. <laughs> the only thing changed with Lady Verzik is her web damage won't hit you multiple times, so I guess if you stand on two webs which are on top of each other, but I'm not too sure on that one. Yeah, okay, I'm ready now. Actually, wait, let me drop some brews. I'm ready. Oh no, Dorm Ring is being left. Oh, that's no, fine. Oh, let me grab that Dorm Bringer again. Yeah. So I'm gonna bounced. I see that then I'm gonna get hit by like six bombs. I'm putting a lot of faith into a Rapura over here. If he steps back one extra space, I'm gonna get hit. I got this purple boy. Best whoever's ranging to get on it, I think. Cause like blowpipe hits fast. Oh no, I got hit. If I kill the thing fast, I get like four hits in with the Tebow. Then my I get three. Ouch. Don't wanna run into any webs. This way if you really need to like not get stuck. Better one all the way over here. Oh, that was unfortunate. When that second wave of stuff comes on, you can't really do anything. You can't hide from the bombs, you have to tank it as she heals a bunch. Well, um, um, I should not be running this way. Should not indeed be running this way at all. Nope. She's immune. She's immune, boys. We got this. D claws, where they at? Yee! How many deaths was that? Was that a one death read? Oh wait, pick up all these excess brews. No wastage. No purple chests. What do you mean? We steal all these excess brews. Let's go see what we got. No purple, but let's well, let's just see anyway. Hmm. Um, stuff. That's what we got. Let's see how much this stuff is worth. Two hundred thirty k. Yes. <gasps> ah. Should we do another one? I think that's an excellent idea. Oh my goodness. Got him. Yay. All right, I'm chosen. Right minus two. Or minus one, depending on how you look at it. I'm sitting on it. Good job, team. Verzik <laughs> yeah. might be a tad tight. How many points have we got to play with? 17 points, that's a whole lot of bruise. Actually, I might need to restore. This is the last chest, I'll just spend all the monies. Buy a sea turtle. Music for this boss is so good. This is my favorite boss, because he's so, so easy. I don't know where that one's landing. Ah! Ah ha ha! Got him! That was a chunky hit. What was that? 145. I'm on the wrong side. I'm brewed down. Just keep running away from the purple. It's nearly there. Yeah, I've, I'm brewed all the way down. <laughs> Eee, last hit. Good job. Oh, that was faster than that for read. Interesting. Oh my god. <gasps> I got the purple! Yes! Yes! <gasps> Boys, are we ready? We got a purple loot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get the drum roll. All right, shh. Oh Are we ready? Uh, oh, just stick the chest guard. How much is that? Mm, yes, my first loot in my name. How much is that? Yeah. Yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, so that's like, that's, like, that's, like, that's all right, actually. Ooh. How much is this going for? 250, I think? Ah, let's put it on. 
I am a happy boy. Yes, I'm so happy. Did I even die that raid? I don't remember. Yes, we got a chesticular piece. Yum, chest guard. All right, let's go sell it. Let's all go G. All right, this is going for 200. How much should I put in the G for? Apparently it's going for 250. Should I put it in for 250? Oh, that's 250 coins. 250 mil. That's better. Uh, bam. It's over 252. Ah, oh, uh, look at that cash stack. That is a yummy cash stack. Yes. All right, come G. Yum, oh, come yum, G. yum, yum, yum. Right. So we can all accept a split, right? Just making sure. Okay. So I'm going to scam you all for 1K because it's over 252 mil on 1K. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Div divide that by divide that by 5. 50 mil and 40 K each. Oh, Wait, 50 mil and 400 K, sorry. For, I think, Thank yes. So much. Scroob, then Mr. Rude, 54, then the Hunnit. Did I do that right? Nope, that's not right. 504, and then a bunch of zeros. Yum. Happy dream. 54, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Yum. Who else have I met? Cushy, where are you? There you are. 504, 1, 2, 3. Good job, boys. 50 mil profit. Yum, yum, yum. Now I'm not poor anymore. I'm not as poor. 59 mil cash tech. Yes! So now that we've got a gesticular piece and we are slightly less poor. So other than the changes of, for the Theatre of Blood that I've already mentioned, uh, not a lot has happened other than actually I missed one Theatre of Blood change which was spectating mode. They just improved it. It was there before but now they just improved it some more so you can uh, watch from different angles. And there's a few other small changes which I didn't go over because they're not very significant but you can check them in the link in the description which links to the news post and uh, you can read them there and uh, yeah. And don't worry boys soon we'll be dumping this here tab whereas here it is into the G because I really want to sell it because now that you've seen all the uh, bosses I killed to get all this loot so I'm finally caught up sweet so yeah look forward to that and uh, yes